a uh, Rock the Yahweh, Rock the Yahweh say, Rock the Yahweh, Rock the Yahweh say, uh, Rock the Yahweh, Rock the Yahweh say. Okay, uh, double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone. Uh, honest, you've obviously been pushing this truth in sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. Um, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, so we've got the um, headline of the day, maybe even the headline of the month, maybe even the headline of the year. You know, the apostles did coin it, you know, the, the year of the triple D, you know, death, destruction, uh, uh, I forget the other D, uh, um, death, destruction, uh, hey, a law's will, deliverance, okay, but I forget the other, of uh, 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 D, I believe, um, it was, yeah, judgment this year, a lot of people got judgment, um, we're seeing the, um, through these, um, articles like this, you're seeing, um, the greater judgment, okay, um, being um, manifested, um, in, uh, you know, like the prophecies, there was prophecies that was put forth in place about who was going to be involved in the World War Three, how it was going to play out, and you got a lot of people that turn a blind eye to it, as pursuing to the scriptures within the book of Second Peter, the third chapter and the third verse, how that they're willingly ignorant. Now, are you going to have it to where these so-called Christian groups, okay? Are going to be getting into this article? No, of course not, because they're not about the Bible. They're not looking for the kingdom of heaven to come. As far as they're concerned, they're in their kingdom of heaven. Okay, the two billion Christians are upon the face of the earth here. I don't even, not 1% of them, okay, not 1% of that 2 billion uh, 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 people, which is going to be what? A few, was it, what's 1% of 1 billion? Is it a few hundred thousand? Okay, or is it uh, uh, 1 million? I don't, you know, I don't know off the top of my head. But out of all that large majority of them, not 1%, okay, not 1% of them, oh uh, yeah, so yeah, yeah, 1 million would be, 1 million would be what, 1% of um, 1 billion, okay, so, so a half a percent, you ain't going to have it to where a half a percent of them Christians are going to be talking about this, because they're not interested in the um, becoming of our law, okay, they're interested in the perpetuation of the uh, society that they're living in. Because the society they're living in right now, the Christian society that is within Esau's society, the society of the devil, okay? And Esau's society, the society of the devil, they can do whatever they want, okay? But see, if you're looking not to do whatever you want, but rather more for righteousness to be established upon the face of the earth, then you was going to be occupied within prophecies. The Bible says that. And being occupied in prophecies, it's clear to see that we're at the precipice of World War III. Now, when you... <laughs> understand that World War Three is a, a very uh, rudimentary aspect of um, the law coming back, hence the salvation, okay, when we talk about salvation, salvation from what? Salvation from, from the judgment that was going to be played out upon the earth, that's what we were talking about, salvation, that's what the scripture was saying, okay, the scripture was saying, look, it, look two things is going to play out, salvation for Israel and judgment for the earth, so the Israelites was going to be looking for salvation. They was going to be looking for salvation for it. Like that Benjamin, not a real Jew, was going to act um, preemptively and do whatever he wants with the Iranians and drag the whole entirety of the whole planet Earth into World War III. That's when you was going to be looking for the law right then. And the Lord said, what? That like, what? And that, then he was going to have it to wear a remnant of, of Israel, not Israelis. But the Israelites, the Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans scattered from the four corners of the earth. That's when the Lord was saying, look, boom. You know, when this is playing off in this judgment time and you know, you're sick to your stomach with for fear, don't worry, Jacob. Don't worry, Jacob. I'm going to deliver you out at this time. And you can read about that within the book of Jeremiah, the 38th chapter and the 7th verse. Okay, because this is going to be the time of Jacob's trouble, man. Okay? You can, you're not going to have it to where Israel is going to go up into the... Um, into, in, into Iranian territory and just do whatever they want within Iranian territory and just, you know, you can go to Costas and, you know, just mess about like how you've been messing about after that. No, this is going to drag everybody into war. This is going to drag everybody into a, a state of... Uh, of uh, uh, it's, just, it's going to be like living in the Middle East all over the world, man. Okay? Because the Russians are going to be involved in it. The Chinese are going to be involved in that. Why do you think the, the Israelis haven't done whatever they wanted to do with Iran already, man? There's a thing called treaties, man. And treaties have it to where people, all right, countries... Okay, it's going to get loud in a second. 
right? Treaties uh, 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 have it to where people can't move in the way they want to move, man. Treaties uh, 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 have it to where uh, 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 packs form, okay? Uh, uh, groups of people, all right, join up together, all right, so that what? So that when war plays out, those treaties, that group of people, that collective of, uh, of individuals, individual countries, okay, are going to back each other, right, in, 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 a, um, in, a, in a messed up situation. So now you got it to where a messed up situation is about to happen, and who's going to be backing the Israelis? The Russians, the Chinese. <laughs> that's the pact. And that's why everybody should be on hot, you know, on, uh, hot on their toes on this one, because why? Because this is like a, a, a world... Uh, 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 a changing uh, uh, type of event, man. This is like a, a, a global world changing type of event. Everybody's going to be involved within this one, okay? Everybody's going to be involved, okay? Everybody's going to be involved, all right? That's why on a secondary article, I'm going to read in a second, on a secondary article, you're going to have a, um, you got a, you got a situation where uh, pretty much uh, 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 Saudi Arabia, okay, is drag getting dragged into this. And we know Saudi Arabia has got allegiance with the, with the United States government. So, look, <laughs> this thing's popping off, okay? So, uh, you know, without much further ado, you know, the, the, we had the, pre, uh, the prequel. So, let's get into it. So, it says, Net, Net, uh, Netanyahu, okay, uh, threatens Israel with, will uh, act alone against Iran in Syria. Now, that, you know, uh, resonates with what the scripture says, how that the least of the flock shall draw them out. How that the least... Remember the scripture says the most I counted, Am, you know, Amalek, the Edomites as the least of, of the people. And even more so, Amalek was the least of the people. Now, this is this is the root, true heritage of the people that are out there within the land of Israel right now. They're Amalekites, right, according to the Bible. They're not Israelites. They're Amalekites. They're Israelis, but they're not Israelites. Okay, they are, they are the Israeli Amalekites, man. Okay? Now, the people... That are gonna go back into that land after World War III is played out. Those are the Hebrew, those are the Hebrew Israelites. Okay, the people that are there now are the Hebrew Edomites. Okay, a completely diff a different nation of people. Matter of fact, if we was to expound upon the prophecies and the understanding of the Bible, we know that when the Israelites, the real Israelites, was gonna go into the land of Israel. There was no war that was going to be played out upon the earth. The scripture says that people was going to learn of horticulture, farming, okay? They was going to learn about those things. But you got America ramping up his nuclear arsenal, Russia ramping up his nuclear arsenal by way of simple mathematical deduction. That means that the Israelites, according to the prophecies, have not returned into the land of the Lord because the earth is not at peace right now, okay? So it says, uh, Israel will stop at nothing to contain Iran. Right, even if it um, has to um, act alone. And why are they saying that? Right, because um, traditionally speaking, okay, the pact that's between uh, Israel and America is such that really Israel wants to act against uh, the wishes of Iran. Okay, because they want them, them, them Amalekites want control of that region. Okay, they want control of that region. Okay, so what do they want? They want to expound upon their. Uh, um, Expound upon their territorial, uh, their territory, and Iran's in the way, Syria's in the way, and, and if you notice anything, that's where everything's popping off right now. Okay, so naturally, they say, look, we're gonna do this. If we're gonna do this without your back in America. We're gonna do it. Okay, but you ain't gonna have a lot of people talking about this except for the men at Great North Stone, because for a lot of people, this means nothing. <laughs> when, when in actual fact, this means war. To quote the film. Okay. And Israel will stop at nothing to contain Iran, even if it has to act alone. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu says, right, the PM accused Tehran of plotting to destroy Israel from Syria, where it has been helping to fight terror, uh, terrorists uh, at the uh, government's inter, um, intervention. Iran is scheming to entrench itself in, in, in military in Syria, and Netanyahu claimed. And all of these things are claims. Okay, so they're going to act preemptively Right and drag everybody into a World War Three, and it's offered for claim. And then that doesn't that sound like something that's already been done before in the past? Well, that's that's because it has been. Okay, whenever territory is wanted, for instance, uh, uh, Iraq, okay, Afghanistan, that was a territory that they wanted, and they just went up into there and made a claim. And to this day, them people out there in Iraq or, 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 or um, 
Them people out there within Iraq and Afghanistan haven't got no retribution off of that. <laughs> They've had their country torn uh, to, 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 to stress, okay? Completely unrecognizable now, okay? All in the name of what? All in the name of, uh, of money and territory, okay? And the same thing is here. All a bunch of claims, but this time the whole world is going to be dragged into a World War Three, just to, you know, to fulfill the prophecy, okay? In that it is said, the least of the flock shall draw them out. Okay, so it says, Israeli leader alleged that Iran, which serves as one of the guarantors of the ceasefire deal in Syria, along with Russia, there we go, Russia, Turkey, wants to station its troops in Syria. And the Syrian government, uh, uh, what's his name? I forget this guy, uh, Assad, Assad's with that. Because <laughs> with having Russia and Turkey involved in there, he can, he can keep his territory, he can keep his land out of the influence of the United States. Okay, because once you get them Israeli troops on the ground, well, that's American boots. <laughs> that's just American boots with a, 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 a what is it, a yarmulke on. <laughs> okay, um, and it says um, the Israeli leader further alleged that the I I Iran, right, which serves as one of the. So I read that. Okay, so it says Netanyahu, who has uh, once branded the milestone nuclear deal uh, between Iran. Right, and the six world powers is a historic mistake and the threat to Israeli uh, survival again lashed out universally. Hale held the document arguing that it, it, it will allow Iran to produce hundreds of nuclear weapons after about a decade. And of course, it's going to do that. But see, the problem is, if it did do that, who's going to become the superpower within that area? It's going to be Iran, not, not Israel anymore. So Israel can't do however they want to do when they want to do it. Okay, so let's go to some more supporting... Uh, 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 information, right? And this is, um, I was going to read a little bit of this. It says, uh, Israel is ready to share intelligence on Iran with Saudi Arabia. And if you notice, this is Saudi Arabia thing has been massive within the news right now because why? Because you had, it, it, they had, you had some kind of uh, deal that popped off and he was discussing certain things. And then this uh, prince out there within um, Saudi Arabia, <laughs> he started uh, uh, annexing. His family members, man, his own family members saying, look, they've done this, that, and third. So they've been acting to the will of the Israeli government. Probably got promised some territory after um, after this war breaks out. So they was like, look, fuck it. Let me, let me go in on this, all right? To hell with this so-called family. <laughs> so he's been doing that. And um, additionally, now you've got it to where Saudi Arabia is more likely to be, um, uh, 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 as a result of this, they're going to be dragged into that thing as well. Okay, so they might be used as the um, as the country shield, okay, right? Like a human shield, they're gonna be used. Probably gonna be thrown out there into that uh, Iran to do whatever they're gonna do. Okay, so it says, chief of staff of Israeli Israel's military told Saudi uh, newspapers that. Sorry, there's a lot of trucks on this road. Okay, it's the only way I could do this at uh, my lunchtime at the job, so uh, you're gonna have to forbear. Okay. Uh, let me just cross the road real quick. All right. It says, um, uh, Chief of Staff uh, of uh, Israel Defense for, uh, Forces also told the newspapers that Iran is the biggest threat right, to the region. <laughs> and, and, and really, the biggest threat to the region is you so called you gutter rights. You're the, ter you're, the, you're the terrorist terrorist, man. Okay, and look what you're doing. You're dragging everybody into a World War III, and everybody's just gonna go along with it. The vast majority of the people don't know what's going on. So it's just gonna be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, they're gonna go down with a program, man. Right? Or, you know, off, with all of the claims. <laughs> Unbacked claims at that. Okay, so pretty much, you know, when you read these articles, most of them is um, self explanatory. Um, hopefully, that was a verification. Okay, um, I'm sure brothers will do other, you know, more in depth videos on this too. Uh, so with that, you know, laws, you know, pretty much we're at the end of this thing, man. This is the end of the end. Okay, time, you know, you know, time to knuckle down. But really, the time for rejoicing is so close. Okay, it's important, all right, to keep pushing the videos, man. Keep doing the work. Okay, staying on point. Okay, this is the end of the end, man. <laughs> okay, and you can see it. It's, it's clearly manifested. Okay, so I'm gonna say all praises unto the Abba Shimi Aoshai. Double honesty, I pass a great millstone. Honestly, we'll always be pushing this truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. And Lord's will get to do this again uh, some other time. Shalom.